Kavan here with the demo of how an automation can timestamp a record. So my base has a very simple automation that's going to fill in a timestamp field when a checkbox is, check box is selected. Here, selected the checkbox. Now then the timestamp is going to get filled in by the automation. Now most automations do much more than this, but this is just a simple automation for demonstration purposes. Now, first let me describe a method that does not work. Sometimes what people do is that they will create a formula field that has the now function in it. The problem with that is now, let me change this local time so that you can see that, now is not accurate. Now is anywhere from a few minutes ago to even sometimes a few hours ago, depending on when you want it. So what you don't want to do is have a now formula field that you copy over into your timestamp. Instead, what you want to have is a different way of getting that actual time that the automation runs. And the way to do that is with a script. So here's my timestamp automation. I have a simple when a record matches conditions trigger, but of course you could use any trigger you want as long as it will return a single record. And then I have a script that's going to get that timestamp. If you know JavaScript, you can probably code this yourself. It's fairly short, but if you don't, I have on my script store, if you look at helpers, I have automation helpers here. And one of those is a script for creating a timestamp for when an automation is run. You get that script, and then you go create your scripting action, edit the code, take what's in here, delete what's there, and just paste this in. That's it. You don't have to add any input variables. You can test if you like, and then just finish it. So next, when you have your update record action, Select your table, the record ID of what you're going to do, and then you can select here, data from step two, that's that script, continue, it says automation time, click insert, and then that's it. So when you click it, it runs the scripting action that calculates what that actual timestamp is, and then it runs your update record action for everything else. And then you can also, of course, add in all the other actions that do what you actually want to do. Now, when you get the script, if you want to get it from um, my script store, you may notice that the script is actually very short. In fact, all of the automation helper scripts in this are very short. So the ones for deleting a triggering record, deleting all the records in a find records action, um, summing a numeric value from the find records action. They're all really short. Most of them are between 3 and 25 lines long. This is on purpose because this makes them a great resource for someone who is new to coding and wants to learn how to write scripts. Sometimes if you get a really powerful script, it's like, great, it does a ton of things, but it's, you know, 50 line longs, and it's kind of overwhelming when you're trying to learn things yourself. This gives you a nice little manageable chunk where you can look at it and you can think, I want to learn and understand what does each word in this script mean? Why are they doing this? Why is there this function called wise? things being set up the way they are, and then that's how you can learn. Take it and adjust it.